Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, SQL detail panel, which where this will be used here when my I go to the skill tree and when I hover over one of the skills, that skill detail panel will appear with the relevant details about this skill. Right now I haven't connected the, this into the skill tree yet. In this episode, we are going to focus on creating this widget. And in the next time, let's look into how to connect this widget with the actual skill tree we have in place. All right, so before we get started, I may remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download anything without any limit. So feel free to check it out. And also, here is the full playlist of this series where I have covered everything from scratch uh, how to create this action RPG game using gameplay ability system. So yeah, I'll leave links to everything in the description below and now let's look into today's episode. Okay, right now what I have for the skill tree is this. If I go to skill tree, I have these skills and I can just directly click on them and activate them. Uh, I can't activate right now because I don't have the uh, skill points. So anyway, I can directly activate them by clicking here but instead of that when I hover over a skill or when I click on a skill another window should appear with additional details about that particular skill then from that I should be able to either activate that skill or just close the window so yeah to do that Let's go to our blueprints, UI, skill tree folder, and let's create a new user interface. Let's create the window that we need to show the scale details first. WDG skill details panel. So the way I'm planning this is I need first I'll I need some image that shows the skill on the left and then on the right column skill name skill description cost and activate to close buttons so here first I'll add a canvas panel and underneath that I'll add a horizontal box this so maybe i'll set the size this subject to change i'll make it size to content i need to set the size and the skill image so it would be like this t heavy attack put it here first so as you can see here the size of this should be large enough it looks a bit low quality but we can import a high quality image later on so now here as you can see it's just a image with a transparent background so i need a background and a frame I actually I'd like to have a similar look to this skill button that we have so the this is the background so I like this with the border and assign that background wait sorry assign the background to that border like this and also we need another frame so wrap this again with the border and assign this frame okay right. and cool so this is uh, the image of the skill 
and then on the right side I need to have this given name the description cost and buttons so they should be in the right column one below one so maybe we should have a vertical box This horizontal box okay now let's add another text and this and name it here we need to have a real name here desired width to be two fifty not enough Down to me to the left, and fill in the gap. Okay, and the next line should be skill description. So, Allows player to break the ends of the enemies and deal extra damage. Okay. This is wrong. Uh, I will run this. Shouldn't be as large as the title. So this thing doesn't need to be bold or regular. Mm -hmm. Here, I mean, decide with width is four hundred. So this also can be wrapped at four hundred. Yeah. Okay. And need that we need the cost which is the amount of skill points required to activate this. So, for skill points, I have an icon. here so after this i need to show the skill point image and then the number of skills so it should be in the same line that means i'm gonna have to add another horizontal box after this then an image this which it shouldn't be this large Yeah. And then a text. Maybe the same text with the same size and everything. All right, the next thing is the activate button. Oh, cancel button. 
Uh, the buttons also should be in another horizontal box. Actually, it should be in the same box. So, button, set it here. Text. Desired width. Oh, just call it. I want to follow the same style that I have used in my other widget, so let me see. This is style. Yeah, let me just copy this button. So this be activate right. it have some paddy. Too white. Okay, that's because here we have the minimum desired width. Okay, so this will be pushed here. Does not need to put there. The size is a bit too large in this context. So fifteen better, and it would be better if this line is down below. So we can do that if I fill this. Okay, now here is the window that shows the details about the skill. Maybe this entire thing should have some background. So let's wrap this another board pushes to the edge All right, so I added some outline to this border. Maybe we should use the same color as here. It looks better. Okay. Now here is the window. I think that's enough for this episode. So in the next episode, let's look into how to connect the window to the skill tree uh, and make it appear when I hover over skills and activate through the newly created window the new skills and thanks for watching updated project files will be available for download in my patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye